Okay, um, got my snake robot together here today and out driving it around a little bit. Um, all the parts are made up in my design. A little raspberry play up the front there to brain run everything. The PWM board to drive the servos. Got little buck converters and my battery out the back and a switch to turn him on and off. Um, that's where he's ready to go. Um, the software, I basically wrote myself a little routine to drive him around. Um, basically I just drive it off this routine I made called snake.move. I give it three um, parameters. First is how much I want it to turn to the left. The second one, how much I want it to turn to the right. And the last one's for how many body sections. So if the left and right are the same amount of degrees, it will turn, um, it'll go straight ahead because it'll be, you know, wiggling to the left as much as it is to the right. If I make one bigger than the other, it means it'll wiggle more to one side. The amplitude will be offset to one side. Um, the amount of um, length I've got the very last variable will tell me how many body sections we want. So if I do something like 30, 30 in four body sections like I have it um, tuned for at the moment, and I run that, snake just goes straight ahead like that. So this off, off he goes. Press control C on that. I bring him back here. And then I go to here. Oop. And make him something like I put 10 on one side and say 45 on the other side. If I do something like that, save that, come down and we'll run, run something like that. I'll get him stood around in a corner. goes that way. If I come over here, swing those two around the other way, I'll make that one say 45, I'll make that one say 10, run that now. But it's the other way. A little bit uneven weighted the robot. It seems to still be better in one direction than the other. Anyway, that's my robot.